Oh, I should probably take my milk bar out. I'm sorry. If you want water, it's on the table. I would love one. Oh, thank you, dude. Come on, shut up. Congratulations on your win. Thank you very much. How are you feeling as a senior? I feel great. I mean, uh, this is definitely, I consider this pretty much exactly like you said, my debut fight. I have one other this year in March at a uh, tournament in Myrtle Beach. This is like a hotel, a smaller crowd, good experience, but I was really only like 10 months into training then, I think, so I'm 16 months now. Um, nothing to be better. A lot of my friends and family were here, you know, my coaches, teammates, everyone, and uh, I'm really happy I could just go in there and get the job done, you know. My mindset was go in and kill, put the pressure on, break them with the conditioning. You know, that's what we do. Um, and honestly, I really thought going in that like the first round, it might take some feeling out, but in my mind, I was like, he's not going past the second. He's not getting past the second. And I was happy I was able to do that. And was this uh, the way you were playing? Some kind of knockout, yeah. Absolutely. They didn't give me the mic, but I wanted to say, I'm sure you guys saw Leon Edwards. If they gave me the mic, I was going to, you know, obviously pay my respects. You know, say I'd love to come back in October and fight. I'm looking to make my MMA debut. I would love to do that. Um, but uh, I, really, I really wanted to get on there and to say, you know, Cage Titans debut, headshot, dead. But it is what it is. I mean, got the event going still. I'm looking forward to some of the other fights. Uh, Dan Walsh, he's been training with us a little bit. He's a really great training partner, a really great guy. I was really happy to see him get that finish. He deserves it. He's worked really hard. Um, you know, I have a lot of great teammates that have put in a lot of work for me, a lot of great coaches, and I, I really owe it all to them. So you had some elbows in that fight that were killer. Cal, how many times did you drill those elbows in your camp? Um, you know, a Avery Andrews was also supposed to fight on this card. He's been training Muay Thai for about three years. This was going to be his fifth fight this year. He's a very, very skilled and uh, great training partner. And uh, he was working elbows with me from the jump since we knew we were allowed to elbow since they, or not changed rule, but maybe Mike got the, the variance or whatever. Um, but uh, really this past week, on Wednesday and Thursday, I was really honing in with my coach Tom. And we were really working on, you know, the technique, getting the shoulder out, getting the hand back to the head, one smooth motion. And uh, even in the clinch, kind of breaking off, going out. If he was going to, I didn't get the chance to, but if he was going to try to initiate, I wanted to work a lot of the pull elbows. But uh, really, I'd say throughout the camp, I was feeling them out. You know, sparring, we started to get into them light. But really, really this past week is when we really dialed it in and uh, really got down to it with some uh, Tommy Havers Muay Thai. What's the next fight that you want to build up and make even better? Make even better. I'd like to uh, control the range a little bit more. There was a lot of clinching. I obviously was a little bit bigger than him, had more range. Um, I, I don't really remember. I'm going to have to go back and watch it, but I might have had some good long combinations, but I'd like to be able to control it at the range and then get inside when I want to. I feel like he did kind of get inside on me, forced me to clinch a little bit, but at the end of the day, whatever position I'm in, I'm going to do whatever I can to hurt you and finish you. Um, you know, I'm gonna go out, see what the teammates are doing, see what's up, you know, maybe watch a couple more fights, go see all my friends, family, I had a lot of support coming up this fight, I want to thank everyone who came out and supported me, everyone watching the stream, I want to thank them, um, but I think, uh, you know, we'll head out, maybe stick around for a bit, and then probably head to the tavern on more for the after party, you know, I mean, after a finish like that, you gotta go celebrate. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Alright. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I was lucky enough to catch you outside, so. Awesome. Uh, you know, when you dropped him the first time, and then obviously you got the, the finish, mm -hmm. you jumped on top of the cage. What was it like feeling that this year? It was amazing. You know, it's something I've seen. Uh, one of my teammates, a mentor, Shane Darty, he's done it many times, and I always just remember I was here last year. A, a day after this to the date, August 28th, when he defended his belt. And I was a few months into training then, and that was really the night when I, I saw him do that, and I knew this is the fucking shit that I want to do. Sorry, excuse me. Um, but I just, it's one of those things where it's in the moment. I know all the USMA people always sit up there, so I just wanted to sit up there, give them something to cheer for, and uh, it was really awesome. It was really cool. And no one yelled at me, so that was good. You mentioned the October date, correct? Yeah. Yeah, so is there an opponent in mind? Um, you know, I let my coach Matt Martin do all the matchmaking, especially right now. I'm, this is my debut at Cage Titans, debut at home. Um, I'd really love to get in there and fight MMA. You know, I love punching people in the face, but I also really like strangling people. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, just talking to Matt Martin about, or not you, but you know, Paul Bear, talk to Matt Martin, please. Um, and you said you want to try MMA, so I have a chance to keep you more time. Yeah, absolutely. So MMA has definitely been my end goal, but uh, as an amateur, I really just want to stay stay active as much as I can. I'll do grappling, I'll do Muay Thai, I'll do MMA, whatever's the right time, the right fit, what my coaches think is best for me, but I'll do anything on cage tights. You know, I, got, I know they got those super fights, obviously Muay Thai, MMA, whatever can get me to stay active. MMA is definitely the long-term goal, but as an amateur, I'll do anything. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Doherty. No worries. Thomas? Who? I'm sorry. Oh, Dan Walsh? Sorry about that. No worries. Yeah. Are you guys excited just to like just have this victory in one of your favor? Absolutely. I mean, you know, anytime I obviously we're going for the victory, but I gotta be honest with you, I'm, re I'm really happy to get the finish. Whenever I go to fight, I'm fighting to kill or be killed. You know, and I, I it, obviously a win's a win. You can win on points, but every time I go in there, I'm trying to break you and finish you. You know, obviously calculated, but at the end of the day, as fast as I can. You know, you don't get paid by the minute in there. Not, not that you're paid, but you know what I mean. Yeah. And how do you feel being the last four time fight of the night and ending it with the way you do? It was awesome. It was, bad. It was really awesome. So, uh, you know, I my so initially I was supposed to fight third, and my teammate Avery was supposed to fight tenth. So he was gonna be the last Muay Thai. I don't. He's, I'm sure you see some of his fights. He's a freaking assassin. Um, we got. The news earlier this week his opponent unfortunately got a, a injury he pulled out they moved me to 10th and at first I was a little bit like you know what, what the hell like what's going on because you know I was looking forward to getting in there early and getting to it but as the week went on I kind of was just more being grateful about it I was like you know it's kind of cool the day later in the car more people will be here more of an audience and uh, you know with all the intermissions and stuff I mean obviously it wasn't on the main card but it's almost like it kind of was but uh, you know I'm, re I'm really happy to uh, have an exciting fight like that especially for the final fight of the evening the Muay Thai fight There was there was nothing like it, man. You know, I was in there and uh, dropped him that first time, and I wasn't sure if he was gonna get up, but he did. He was a tough guy. Credit to him for that. And I got up and I was like, all right, let's do it again. You know, in my mind, in the rules rules meeting, I knew they said that uh, if you drop, well, I guess it was twice in a round, but uh, no, three times in a round. Sorry, but they said four times in the fight. So I was like, all right, that's one. If I can do that three more times, he's done. And then uh, you know, the ref, I think he made a good decision because I was gonna keep coming with him. But uh, absolutely, you know, that was definitely uh, a really good way. The captain and I have worked really hard this camp. Shout out to USMMA, my teammate. Shout out to uh, Skill of Strength in North Chelmsford. I've recently joined them as a, for a strength conditioning program. They got me in the best shape of my life. Only was only able to get in three weeks of the program, and it's been uh, tremendous. Well, it shows, and congratulations tonight, and it was a hell of a finish to see live. Thank you very much. Looking for that Kill Combat POTN. First one ever, maybe. <laughs>